Um, the house is a concept that I've had um, uh, quite a while ago. Um, I've always wanted to make a ghost story. And because I had very limited budget and I, I need to make a film in one location, I thought, okay, this is a time to bring that um, concept I've had put on a shelf for a while back. And it's, it's, it's uh, basically about this woman trapped in a house that's haunted, but it's not a typical ho horror story in, in terms of uh, the ghosts are not there to you know, spook you out or, or anything. It's a very um, character-driven uh, ghost story and and uh, through the drama you find out who these characters are and, and why they're there stuck there um, basically they're um, a bunch of uh, tormented souls who can't who can't leave they're just stuck in this this really confined space for their own reasons and um, self-imposed isolation because of past deeds and guilts they they they're still dealing with um, right now yeah I'd like to call it um, a psychological drama slash thrillers because there are some scares here and, here and there but as the film unfolds you you start to actually care about the ghosts you know because the way I I've approached those um, characters as um, as ghosts but they're not like they don't walk through walls or you know um, or they don't have superpowers you know moving things around not like that they're actually kind of like real um, life and you know um, flesh and blood people right in front of you but it's just that they're not actually there anymore it's just the protagonist um, gene is the only one who can see them I've just been blessed to to have come across Desiree I actually auditioned for for her, um, for a short, and we've just, um, you know, we've we've uh, we've collaborated on on a few others, and and the house is is my fourth time working with her. I mean, she she is uh, uh, she's a retired Wall Street um, investment banker, and that's something that she's obviously pursued because of of um, expectations that. Um, she felt from, I guess not, not, I guess more society than anything and, and what she felt, what success is and it's almost like she, she really loses, um, she loses sight of, of what her true calling is um, and being a part of this really um, corrupt world. Um, she, so, she, so this is an escape for her really? That the house oh it, it, well technically it is because after she 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 comes back from this um, six month voyage and uh, to try to find herself she obviously hasn't found herself and she moves into this this house and uh, that's when she encounters all these these spirits and so she's she is struggling um, to find her way again and so she's trying to force herself into this in this type of solitude and, and she's desperately trying to reconnect. But because she hasn't for so long, or, or she probably doesn't remember um, the last time she actually really was being true to herself, it's, it's, it's not as simple. <laughs> and so she, yeah, she goes through this, this, uh, this emotional struggle to, to try to, to find her own voice.